All right, so I actually already did a video on installation of the JLT oil separator catch can, and I hooked it up wrong. So instead of showing you that video, I'm gonna show you a video of hooking up right. Uh, I just wanna make a couple things clear. These are my instructions that came with the product doesn't really well it doesn't really show you exactly what you need to do it's got some information written but you're not really seeing all the detail 2016 f-150 2.7 show you what this looks like good quality product very solid factory hookups after 150 miles it's empty however there was some oil accumulating on this honeycomb filter not much but some anyways you gotta take off two bolts one there one there your oil cap And then remove this. What you want to do is connect your oil catch can to this bolt right here. Not that one, this one. This one, there's no room to put your engine cover back on, so you hook it up to this one. Comes with the bracket. So that goes on there like so. I'll show you more uh, once I'm done. And I'll show you how to run these hoses or I assemble these two items. You're gonna want to install it this way in the vehicle. And on the back side, where that J is, it's open. That's the side you want coming off of the valve cover, right there. The part with the filter honeycomb goes to your intake. I had it backwards, and after calling the company, speaking with Lisa, and finding the instructions clearly printed online. Um, I'm going to correct it now. The thing that it tells you online that it doesn't tell you in these instructions is that the T side, which has that honeycomb filter, should have 45 degree angle. And this one is the 90 degree. 45 is on the J side here. These two need to be switched. Obviously, this uh, this part fits multiple items, multiple vehicles, but that's the way it's set up here. So I gotta switch those things out. I'll try to demonstrate. Pretty basic. Get one side off. Take this bracket off. So that's what it looks like. That's what it's how it's supposed to be fitted. Um, wouldn't rely on these. She did mention that they are reprinting better copies, but if you go online to JLT Performance. Uh, instructions 3.0 um, you can see exactly the same stuff I figured out and then uh, put your valve cover on and uh, off you go before I go I want to point out a couple more things this is the hose you're taking off right here this hose as you can see went here 
in here, like that. So, depending how Ford is with warranties, if this is an item that would uh, void your warranty, not sure. Uh, keep this item, you know. It wasn't too much oil residue in it when I pulled it off. I don't know how much this is going to collect, but after 500 miles, um, I'll, I will either wait to put the video online or put a, a note in the comment section. We'll see, or I guess you'll see. One thing that really sucks is you can't get this thing off with your hand at all. This has been on for a few thousand miles. Check it. Leaked a little bit out the top here. And you see, that's what that's what's in there. 